First at nine, the political battle for central Austin is really heating up as seven candidates buy for one seat to represent the district in the Texas House. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Robert Hadlock. And I'm Shannon Wolfson. This is District 49 we're talking about. It's home to more than 165,000 people, including the students at the University of Texas. It is also a hotly contested seat. After nearly 25 years of service, Elliot Neistat decided he was not going to run for re-election, causing quite a scramble. KXAN's political reporter Phil Prazen reports from UT Austin, where tonight the candidates wanted to focus on the students they hope to represent. Phil? We have 40,000 people here that go to school at UT will be their constituents. And these students have been at the forefront of some hot issues this year. And who represents them down the street at the Texas Capitol will be key. Five of the seven candidates showed up at an auditorium at UT Austin because in a primary election, for them, every vote counts. And these students would be their constituents. And many of those here say they're looking for more university funding because now that burden of tuition is shifted to them. That holds a lot of problems for us. Student body president Xavier Rodnovsky says campus carry, a law allowing guns on campus, is something many hope the next person elected to this seat will help repeal. Largely passed without the, the consent of campus, and campus was the main constituency that was affected by the law. All of these candidates will go into a government dominated by Republicans. So students are also looking for a Democrat who can compromise when it comes to getting things done. Right, exactly. So someone who knows how important the issues are and what needs to get done, but also knows how to compromise and knows how to work at the ledge. Now, the five candidates had two minutes at the end to tell the students more of their priorities and two major things stood out. Once students are done at UT, how can we make Austin affordable for them? And of course, something that gets on everybody's nerves, how can we make the commute to work shorter? Live at UT Austin, Phil Prazen, KXAN News. And as Phil mentioned, there are seven candidates running for Texas House District 49. So we're taking a closer look at the candidates and the issues they're running on. Aspen Dunaway is a lawyer who founded his own law firm. He wants to raise the minimum wage, cut property taxes, and freeze tuition at state universities. Kenton Johnson has been a judge since 2014. Heather Way is a UT law professor. She says economic inequality is the biggest challenge to overcome. Gina Hinojosa serves on the AISD school board. Board. She stepped down as board president after announcing her bid for District 49 and wants to change the way the state funds education. Blake Rocap is an attorney. He has worked for the Texas legislature with an emphasis on fighting for access to safe and legal abortions. Matthew Shrum is a lawyer who once worked as a Travis County prosecutor. He now owns his own practice and is a small business owner. Huey Ray Fisher is the youngest candidate and is a former legislative staffer. We wanted to see what one of these candidates would be walking into, so we took a look at the last legislature. The Texas House had 97 Republicans and 51 Democrats. All but 24 representatives were incumbents. Looking at past sessions, that's pretty normal. One exception was the 2013 legislature. There were 41 freshman House members, spurred in part by Ted Cruz and his race for the U.S. Senate. Texas Senate shakes out much the same way the with the uh, two-thirds Republicans over a Democrat split, eight of the chamber's 31 members were considered freshman senators.